the money's gone. It's gone. It like disappeared. Cynthia Moran is still in disbelief. She was convinced it was her bank on the phone, helping her stop a fraud and sending her money safely back to her account. Instead, the money's all gone. It's just scary. It's a scary feeling. Like so many others, it began with a text. And they were asking me if I had approved a Zelle transaction. And I said no. And then I received a call and the number was from Wells Fargo. A woman on the phone said someone was withdrawing her money. She had to stop it fast. They told me to go on Zelle and transfer funds to myself. The woman told her to cancel the phone number on her Zelle account and instead put in her own name. So it seemed legit. And these messages seemed to show she sent herself $1,000, then $700. It clearly shows it was it was deposited into my account. But it wasn't. Instead, it was going straight to the imposters using her name to receive her funds. My money was gone. <laughs> so when I went to go look, I had $6 left. $3,500 was gone right then and there. It was nearly identical to the scam that hit thousands of Bank of America customers last fall. It, it, it was an eye-opener. I was shivering. I was crying. I kissed the money goodbye. I literally cried. Now the scam is hitting Wells Fargo customers like Cynthia and Kelly Reynolds of San Jose. I was home on a Saturday night. She, too, got a frightening text saying Wells Fargo bank fraud alert. Did you attempt a Zelle payment? And I said no. Almost instantaneously, I received a call. A man on the phone said someone was draining her account. It was a complete panic because all my money for my bills are in my account. The man said she'd better quickly reverse the fraudulent transactions. I had to go into the Zelle app and I had to remove my phone number. Kelly was skeptical. I had said, you know, how do I know you're from Wells Fargo? You could be anybody. The man told her to check the caller ID on her phone, and it showed the real Wells Fargo phone number. But it was a fake, a spoof. Kelly didn't know that. So she followed his instructions, transferred her funds, and read him the transaction code. As soon as I gave him the code, the phone conversation disconnected. And her money was gone. Wiped my account out. Had a zero balance. She called Wells Fargo right away. I've been a customer of theirs for over 15 years. They'll help me. They'll figure it out. And they really didn't. And they said, well, we don't guarantee Zelle. I was like, what do you mean you don't guarantee Zelle? So why is it something that we could do on our account? It was just, oh, well, you lost the money. Sorry. You authorized it. There's nothing we can do. Each filed a claim. Each was denied. Wells Fargo said their Zelle payments were processed as requested. Bank of America has also rejected claims by victims, saying they authorized the transactions. And Zelle offers no fraud protections. Federal law requires refunds for fraudulent money transfers. And when we pointed that out, B of A did refund some customers. Wells Fargo did not. The bank tells us it's disheartening that scammers are actively pursuing and defrauding victims. And we understand the frustration and anger expressed by the victims. Since Zelle is an immediate form of payment, recovering funds for scam victims typically isn't possible. They truly, truly did nothing. Whether I have a dollar in there or I have a million dollars in there, I should be protected. Many victims tell me they had no idea a caller ID could be faked, but scammers do it all the time. I've reported on it dozens and dozens of times. They also can easily send phony text messages. So... If you get a call or fraud alert that seems to be from your bank, don't respond. Instead, call your bank directly. Wells Fargo says it does investigate each case, and I've posted the bank's complete response to us at abc7news.com. And let me reiterate, we need a new law on this. We mm, need yeah. to treat this just like a credit card. So if the money goes out and a bad guy gets it, the customer is not responsible. That'll incentivize the banks and everyone else to crack down. There yeah. you go. Thanks, Michael, very sure. much.